dear partners, my name is Metro Chernish, and I'm here with you for our weekly briefing on behalf of the NHSU team. Today, I will share with you how Ukraine succeeded in its three-year-long digital transformation of the healthcare system. Most importantly, such a transformation included a successful shift from paper prescriptions, which had allowed for fake reports and incorrect and falsified figures, to groundbreaking digital tools that ensure transparency and accountability. Within a short period of time, a hybrid two-component e-health model has been created using HL7 medical data requirements in accordance with best international practices and through involving international partners. It has a state-owned central component and private periphery component medical information system. With such a collaboration between the state and business, ensuring the best interest of both patients and healthcare workers. Major wins within this reform. 72% of Ukrainians have chosen their doctors and signed a declaration with them. 34 million e-medical records were filed for 6.6 .6 million patients just within the last four months. 4.4 million e-referrals were made for approximately 2 million patients. 77% of these e-referrals were made by PHC professionals and 23% by those in specialized facilities. 86% of family doctors and 52% of pharmacies nationwide use e-prescriptions. 19 million e-prescriptions were issued to over 2 million patients with cardiovascular disease, bronchial asthma and type 2 diabetes. 2,000 patients benefit from e-prescriptions daily. 30% of e-prescriptions are dispensed at pharmacies within the first hour following e-prescribing. All information regarding processes and result of contracting and payments are available to all end users through dashboards. The first public dashboards appeared in December 2018 and over these last two years we have established 57 dashboards in 15 directions. The government can now trust the data, rely on the figures and therefore make evidence-based decisions. Such electronic data has become a key source of information for decision-making and electronic system has become a prerequisite for the development of the healthcare reform. Thank you for your attention. See you next week.